Morning everybody, Rusty from the Rusty Razor, got another shave of the day, and today we're going to be doing Crown and Cranes, well, it's Rustic Woods and Rum. Not much left, it's like, my sample's getting so small. Uh, I don't know, do they have this? Maybe it's a seasonal one, so maybe it's back on the market. I have to pick one up, but I really like this one. Uh, imagine walking through a, f a deciduous forest with some pine in it in the fall, whatever thing, you got that loneliness going on, and you're holding a nice aged rum. That's what I'm getting. <laughs> like, hey, I like it. Ugh, it smells good. All right, so we're going to be using the winter, these are Gillette Winter 6 use, I think it is, with the Star Razor. Yep. So, we'll just see how that works out. <clears throat> and then we'll follow it up with a wee bit of... I was trying to find what would go with it. I was going to do Old Spice, but then I was like, eh, it's been a while since I thrown some Stetson on the on the channel. I like Stetson. As you can tell, I go through this a lot, too. So, like, between the Old Spice and Stetson and uh, um, Avon Wild Country, eh, those my the big three for me. It's like, that's what I used when I was like young lad through a, being a over the years oh yeah so how is your day going it's hard to believe man time flies already had halloween it's like we're into november it's almost time for the the crazy election to happen the riots yeah Everything's going to go to hell in a handbasket, I guarantee you. One way or the other, people are not going to be happy. Oh, so, man, it smells good. Yeah, it's like my, uh, oh no, suds down. Uh, get back in the bowl. Missed it by that much. Yeah, we're just sitting around here waiting. It's like, man. <laughs> We're just joking. My wife and I, yesterday or last night, is like, you know, there's a commercial, and I was like, hey, they're they're advertising. It's 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 time for selling Easter stuff, right? In the stores, it's that time of the year, right? And it's like we're already bypass Christmas. We're in... heck. I remember back in August we were walking. Through Menards and there he had the Christmas stuff up. I'm like, this is too soon. Way too soon. They're pushing. It's like, hey, why, why even bother take the stuff down? Just leave it out, you know, all year. Yeah. Man, smells good. And I got a, just, I was about ready to say, it's got the uh, Jeffrey Smith uh, drippiness to it. And I haven't seen Jeff in forever in a day. I hope you're all right. Anybody know? He used to be a couple times a week, and all of a sudden he just dropped off the face of the earth. Seems to happen. You know, it's like we have channels I would watch, and they're gone. They just don't do very many videos or cut back on their videos or just disappeared. I don't know if it was like people were putting out more videos when, you know, we had the pandemic shutdown craziness. And now that that's gone, people disappear. Life gets on. Mm. My scars. Ouch. And you can tell. Like, scar, scar, scar. It's like, uh, yo, chin is this the uh, train wreck. <clears throat> Well, 
How many people have done the uh, two pass challenge and found it acceptable? I'm just curious. Was it last Saturday's video? And we had the the fruit medley uh, tropical. <coughs> Um, shave from Tuesday video. Uh, man, pineapple was tasty. I tell you, it was small, but it was tasty. Yeah, it was like. Here, I was like, I'm doing my first pass and I'm going different directions. That man, that, 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 um, uh, two, two with the green shade. I was like, I had to actually physically think when I was doing it because when I'm shaving, I'm going different directions. I'm, you know, because you know how your face is mapped out. And, or getting around your nose and all that stuff. It's like the snot lockers in the way. Um, it's like especially if you're using a larger head razor. Maneuvering around stuff gets kind of hard. But you know, that stings. That's stinging right through here. Oof. Yeah. Face still hasn't recovered. <laughs> it's been what almost one of the six five six days ago i did that shave and my face still hasn't really recovered still hurts i'm using the uh the, that my gillette black beauty on uh more aggressive setting yeah <sighs> it's like this is all tender through here but okay do a second pass Across the grain. On the cheek, it's across the grain. Then I start getting into here. It's a different matter. We're going with the grain, against the grain. Because it's all, yeah, all over the place. But... I find it, it's like you shave how you like it. It's like, what is the most efficient way with you? Because how I shave may not be the best way for you. Because, you know, you map your face out. And for me, it's been, God, I'm coming up on 44 years. Wow. 44 years from now. I've been, as like I said, you know, it was around Christmas time, 1978, when I did my first start shaving. My dad gave me my first razor and five pack of blades. Let's just say that five pack of blades when the beginning lasted it up. But it might have lasted me a year. <laughs> yeah, I didn't shave that much. But I was happy. I was like, oh, I'm, I'm shaving just like a guy. So when was the first time you started shaving? I'm just curious. What year was it? Do you remember? I think in 1978. Let's see, we had the Dukes of Hazard, Battlestar Galactica, Lon TV, Buck Rogers, or pretty popular shows that I've watched. Hmm. 
Alright. Not a bad cross here. Down here, it's, yeah, up here it's still kind of rough. It's like on the on the cheeks, it's since it's all one direction, it takes a little bit more effort against the grain to get it to disappear. Down here, since it's swirly, it's uh kind of gone except for right here. <clears throat> so oh man, it's almost another weekend. Time flies. Like I notice that the older you get, time more time flies. It's like you blink and you already lost a week. And you're like, where'd it go? It's the old. Uh, it's like when you're five, a year is one fifth of your life. So it seems like forever. And when in my age, coming up almost fifty eight, like one year is one fifty eighth of your life. That's a lot of mileage under the bridge. Heads up. So things are just lose track of stuff. Alright. Okay. This uh, with the grain. I have noticed this blade is still doing pretty good. Might be the last one. It's not I can feel it not cutting as well as it should. Not tuggy yet, but I've noticed that its uh, performance has gone down since the very first time I used it. And that's to be expected. But if I was in a financial bind and I didn't have a thousand sh blades sitting here, Literally got over a hundred. It was like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six. I think it's thirty-six. I might have missed one in there. But thirty-six packs that have five packs, some of them ten packs. A blade just sitting here now they're not all full obviously I, you know there's like one two or three out of each one but uh that's a lot of blades just sitting there just ready ready to be used that's just in the ready rack it's like i got <coughs> uh Lots of blades, you know, it's like I was getting out a new pack of Astras and the other, I guess, heck, it's not the other day. It's been Friday. Was it Friday? Yeah, I think it was Friday. I ran out of Astras in the ready rack here and they, uh, I had four packs of Astras just sitting in there. I had my um, this is just what's upstairs. I still got stuff downstairs, too. I got a couple more packs of Astras downstairs. <sighs> they were on sale. I was like, I like these blades, they're going for about a little over five bucks, 550, I think it was, for a hundred pack. And I was like, I'm buying a bunch of them. I'm like, why not? And you just look at it and go, well, do I need more? No, I don't need to buy any more blades, but it's like I tried that sample of London Bridges. It was like, oh, these are nice blades. I like these. So I bought a hundred. <clears throat> That's like the Nassets would be, wouldn't be bad to have a hundred Nassets on hand. Uh, just because I like them. I really would like to have a hundred of the uh, 
uh, seven o'clock blacks. I got a bunch of the yellows. Yeah. Yeah. Then we went flying by down the road. Yeah, probably had a trailer. The whole house just shook. Yeah. Like when you live on a sort of a hill going and everybody's going downhill, they like to do. <laughs> there are times you can get cars driving by a hundred mile an hour. You hear them just accelerating they're flying down the road. But occasionally the the police will park on our street and just sit there and gun them. And they go by and go collect them up. But their cheapest and easiest way they do it is they just put the, uh, uh, they got police cars that unmarked. And they park them along the, the road with their speed cameras, mobile speed cameras. And they just set them up and collect people. So they just get their money. All this is a money grab. We got several places in the city on the road, like 235. They got speed cameras out in a certain section. It's kind of funny. Everybody's driving along. It's like you be, people are doing 70, 75 in the, in the 55, and all of a sudden they will slow down, go past the speed camera, and then accelerate back up to 70. Everybody knows where they're at. They just play the game. It's those out of town are the ones that get hit. The other day on Wednesday, I was on the way to my church at night for a men's group, and uh, I said, my son said he he uh, was in a traffic jam coming home he says traffic just stopped and it's like we're just waiting for people to move over and hit the side streets to get off the 235 and I'm like on my way and I come up to why it was there was like a seven or eight kind of car pile up I mean cars on their tops sides it's just like this is like someone exploded and it's probably some moron that Driving at a high rate of speed, cut somebody off, and they hit their brakes, lose control, and the next thing you know, it's like cars are sp like a pinball machine going everywhere. Typically. Most of the time, it's not the, the jerk that causes the accident ever gets involved. They're the ones that kamikaze driver get involved. Happened to me. We're close to it. Many times. They just uh, point and shoot. They're just going. You always see. I always watch these video traffic videos. It can pop out and it just shows morons out there and just weaving through traffic at high rates of speed. You know, it's like doing 80 through a 55, weaving through cars, and they end up causing accidents. They don't get involved because they people overcorrect them after hitting their brakes. Well, I think this is the last use of this blade. Starting to get a little tuggy. Not cutting as well as it should. Especially when you get on the upper lip here. So, when I did the two pass with the grain, nah. 
it's like how much effort I'm putting into just getting rid of the, the hair on my face and then no not acceptable in my book all right Well, that was a good, that's smooth, even with the blade giving up the ghost, finally. Oop, right there. There we go. Okay. I missed one. Stetson, cooling Stetson. Yeah, it's a little chilly. It's like I feel some burning right here. Actually, which is interesting, is that it's not supposed to burn, <laughs> but I'm feeling it right there, right on the chin. For the last, since I did my uh, two pass shave, on a more aggressive setting with that uh, black beauty. It's like my face has been tender for a while. All right. Like I always say it, you know, it's like you can see like the remnants of some scars there. It's like you can see a divot right there. It's like right across here. Here. You can see the scar right there. It's like when I was like I could I could see through. It's like I went right through my, my lip. Yeah, my chin. Like, yeah, it was a it was a disaster. There was much blood and gore. All right, All right. So that's the shave of the day. Crown and cranes, rustic woods, and rum. Ah, oh, this is a wonderful scent. Fair, I really like it. Yeah, it's a scent that uh, I need to look and see if I can get a tub of it. And. The uh, six use of the winter blades. I think these are Gillette's, I believe. I think they're made by Gillette. I think this is a 10 pack. Yeah, it's a 10 pack. So, <clears throat> with the Star Razor, wonderful shave. Even though it was like that was towards the end of the life set cycle of that uh, blade, hey, it is what it is. So, that was the shave of the day. Hope you guys like it. Like and subscribe, share with a friend, and we'll see you in the next one. Rusty out.